Hey everybody. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. Jim has been busy hauling firewood with Bill and Baron this afternoon. Hi everybody. Sometimes it's been in the sunshine, sometimes it's been in the rain. Right now it's glorious, but it has been um, rainy. We've had many comments about the forest fires in um, Canada and how they're affecting us. And it's interesting, it seems like further south people are being affected more than we are. We did have a few cloudy, strange days, but not like it sounds like it is other places. But thank you everybody for all your kind concern. We have such kind, thoughtful viewers and I appreciate that. So I think this is Bill and Barron's third load this afternoon. What Jim's been doing is going into the woods. Uh, you can see it off in the distance there. And um, he had cut it earlier and now they're bringing it home on the wagon. are out. They have come out today and uh, now that the it's warmed up a little and I don't think Jim put any fly spray on because they weren't bad when he started but now they're they're the nasty ones are out.
a ver. A ver. So we're headed in for our fourth load. Careful, Baron. Fourth wagon load. These are firewood logs that are cut in the spring. And I have a couple customers that want some um, truckloads of firewood. So um, we gotta get it out and get it trucked over to them. There'll be a, a log truckloads. And uh, so I decided it was a good day to go do that. They've done quite well hauling this out. And uh, yeah, one more load and we'll be done. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you everybody for the, the comments about Brie. We, the video about, uh, we just showed some footage of Brie and also we showed a cow go that we took to the butcher. And I guess I just wanted to address some of the comments that we got about um, taking the cow to the butcher. Some of it was that we seemed like we didn't care or we were kind of nonchalant about it. And I guess I just wanted to say that that's not the truth. That's not true. Um, I have spent the last month or two caring for the cow, so I do care about the cow. And um, it truly is a fact of life that even if you're a vegetarian, Something has to die in order for you to stay alive. That was um, a fact that just came to my attention through one of my favorite people to listen to, Elizabeth Elliott. Um, and she mentioned the fact that whether it's plants or whether it's animal products, in order for human beings or any being to stay alive, something has to die. So I guess be that what it may, um, I just wanted to share that I, I don't take it lightly and we do share what goes on here on the farm and it is, it is a part of life. There's life and there's, there's death and there's growth like this, um, these, this oat field is coming up beautifully. This is and there's a mama deer out there in the field. I wish you could, I bet it's, it's two of them. I bet they're mamas because they're right in the middle of the field. But that's uh, the cycle of life, the circle of life. And I apologize if we did not seem like we cared. We do care. And we are super thrilled about um, Bree being here and, and training her. And I'm really learning a lot by watching Jim train her. And actually, I am just uh, amazed by the fact that the way horses for some reason, um, because that's the way God made it, they listen and they um, do what they're trained to do because that's the way things are, I guess. And it, it's just really amazing to me because they're such powerful animals and it's just really cool. And here we go, into the woods. I haven't had time to read the comments, so I don't know what comment she's talking about. But uh, as far as being nonchalant about butchering animals, you know, so many people in this world do not live on a farm. And a farmer has just a different uh, uh, way of looking at things than people that are removed from the farm do. I guess I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. I like your thought. I hadn't thought about that as far as something has to die before humans can live. I just never gave that a thought. Yeah, well, it wasn't my thought, but know. it did stick with me. So the woods are quite nice today. I'm surprised out in the fields, the bugs are worse than they are in the, in the woods. I have to come down here and I have the horses tied and uh, the bugs aren't bothering them too bad at all. It is absolutely gorgeous out here today. I hope it's not too dark on the, the camera.
So I have my excavator down here to load my logs with, my firewood. There's a few logs in here. As you can see, when I was unloading, maybe uh, I had set a couple of those logs in a different pile because those are actually logs, saw logs that'll be shot into lumber. Um, the rest of it and the majority of it is just firewood. And after I'm done loading up, I'm hoping to get everything on this one load. Uh, sometimes these piles that are just in a heap are deceiving. You think you can easily get it on and, and then you don't have enough room or the other way around, you think you got plenty of, you can easily get it on. And I mean, you got, you got just the opposite, you know what I mean? So I do hope I can get it all on. And then when I'm done here, I'll probably bring the excavator down because I've got some stuff to do down on the farm with the excavator. One thing I've, I'm, I'm not happy with, and if I think of it, I'll show you as we go out. Um, as we come out of the woods, we have no choice but to go through standing hay. And that's kind of just a big pet peeve of mine. I do not like to drive on standing hay, but we have no choice. And I could wait till we cut the hay, but sometimes you just gotta do things when you can do it. And so we're just doing it. It is possible that maybe at the end of a bunch of our videos, as we make videos here in the next few months, we will try to do what people have suggested and put some little clips of Brie on the very end of the video. So if people that um, don't really want to watch her every single video can just shut the video off and we'll just have whatever we have going on and then have a little clip at the end so you guys can see the the progress of her. Sometimes we'll have full videos with her though as we're doing training, but some days, like I think Brenda's already made a video today, she was out there um, playing with uh, with Bree and just seeing Lady, and I think she made another video out there that we could possibly put on the end of this. It was really cute. You'll have to stay tuned. I can't imagine people don't want to see Bree, but <laughs> everybody's different, as we often find out. So here we are with the last bit of logs. They're kind of scattered out, so I'm hoping we can get them all on. Yeah. My last, oh, whoop, cheek, cheek a little bit. Cheek, 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 tap it down, tap it. Oh, the last load I took out was probably my biggest load so far. And uh, this load, if I need to, I can make it quite big just to make sure I get everything on. So what I'm doing here, and I do not like to do this in a lot of ways, I am just tying the lines. And I tell you, there's some serious problems with doing this. And uh, I'm not too concerned because these guys are, are doing really good, even though Bra uh, even though we have Baron here, our colt. Um, but uh, he has been doing so good, and this is his fourth load, so he's, he's getting tired and more than willing to stand. But the problem with this, until I get some logs on here, if they try to back up, this does absolutely nothing to this to stop the horses from backing up and getting into a lot of troubles. When you tie them by their halter or their, their bridle, they can't go forward or backwards because they're tied to their heads. But this, all this does is stops them from going ahead. When I'm logging, I'll use this quite often because I'm hitched to a hitch or logs and they can't back the cart up. Right now, with the cart on the wa empty wagon, they can back it up until I get, after I get some more logs on there, they are not so apt to. So I try to get out there and get some logs on quick, but watching these guys really, really close, because if they start backing up, I gotta jump out of the excavator really fast and get over here and make sure I grab them before they back up too much. And I'm scaring Brenda already as I say that, this. Jump out of the excavator. Hey, you can't tie them to that tree right there? Nope. Almost, but not quite. Awesome. This is this is the third load um, here, and I've done this, and they've been perfectly fine. Well, that's great. Let's make it four, you guys. I'm standing up here.
Well, I underestimated my pile. It's a lot less there than I thought for, but that's better than having more than I thought for because I got it all on and I'm all done. Awesome. Is there any particular reason why you left that long, skinny... Is that a pole or something? Or is this a piece of... Just a piece of firewood. It's so small and so long. I was just wondering. Just I figured work. it was too big. It wasn't good for a pole, but I thought, well, maybe that's why you left it. What do you mean a pole? Like for the horses. Oh, no. They were very, very good. They hardly moved the... You know, Baron's come such a long way with standing. Yeah, he has. He's really doing so much, so much better. So you go drive the excavator out or you go drive the horses out? I'll deck, take the excavator. No, you don't. Well, I am not taking the horses either. You can ride with me. These two are like a wild drive, a wild ride, a high energy team. You can walk out till we get to the field and then we ride. Okay. Couple step. So here's a spot where I am knocking down my hay. I have a trail around my whole perimeter of the field. And so um, it's actually a pretty narrow trail. So even from here out to the farm, I'm going to make a wider trail even on everywhere on the outside of the field. But right here, especially my little trail is off to our right, right along the fence row. And so I, I could not turn that sharp coming out of the woods to make that work. So I had to go like this. I caps that. This just must be just so terrible for you, knocking down hay. It is. It's like, if Jim had Ten Commandments, this would be one of them. Thou shalt not knock down hay. Standing hay. <laughs> yes, yeah, standing hay. You like to knock other hay down. It's interesting. God just uh, gave us Ten Commandments. I think I'd have a hundred of them. <laughs> Your oats look too bad. No, I think they look really good. Considering we we just have had so little rain, I don't know about all of you guys, but we we just haven't had much rain in the last two weeks. Well, maybe I mean that's true, but it's surprising how moist it is out in the woods. Yeah, where I we know. just came from, that ground is quite moist. Yep, um, and we were just out the, yesterday. We were up in the other woods, and there was wet spots up there. I see the clover is in bloom now, so that, that's new. It'll be good to get that cut down when you can. So 
What's for supper? I'm getting hungry. I might make pizza. Pizza sounds good. Yeah. Um, maybe we should ask our viewers what we should have for supper. Or, or, or maybe we should ask our viewers. <laughs> Who likes pizza? I like pizza. I like pizza. Let's have pizza tonight. Homemade or bought? I like oh I like God. when we order out because then we don't have to make it, but I don't mind making it either. We have a lot of uh, blackberry bushes. If we do get rain, we're going to have a lot of blackberries, but a lot of times if they dry up in, in the field like that, but I was looking in the woods yesterday and I know where to go blackberry picking. It's actually amazing how fast this ground is, this corn, the grass is growing. Yeah. 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 We, that was just last week you cut this, wasn't it? I think mm -hmm. so. Spend a little bit more in a week. Not much. have to say that was probably the best Baron has ever backed into the farm. Well, he did good. And Baron, watch out because I'm going to kill that fly. Baron being a stallion just has to have a lot of work. Um, they just get so much energy. Uh, we had actually, and we'll show you this in a second, um, we had actually let, we be, had been letting Baron outside every night with Ken, and, uh, oh, lady, Belle, get away. <laughs> and, get away. And uh, they've been fine. And then we started seeing a tiny little bit of something marks on Ken. And actually took me a couple nights before I realized it is barren. So he was actually starting to bite Ken, which is not unusual for a stud. But of course I can't allow that. So now Baron is not allowed to go out with Ken or any horse for that matter. Yeah, we can show you what um, Kenny looks like. I think he's out here in the pasture. Cuffed up. Good. Oh. It's been, it's been probably a week or so since we've actually, since the last, when I noticed it, 
and I made the decision not to let them out together anymore. And so the most of the marks have been have healed up fairly nicely. It's just that there's a hair missing where he tried taking bites out of can. Yeah, he had a few welts, and we, I thought it was underneath his harness or something at first, or he scratched himself out on something, and then. As it got to be more and more, we figured out what it was. Poor Kenny. Well, maybe we can see through the door here. You can see a few marks. They're mostly on his belly. They'll get in there. This is not a good scenario we got right here. They have moved, we have moved these kittens numerous times and we got problems. Anybody want a kitten? We got some. I, uh, I guess I should apologize. My barn's a dirty mess right now. Um, the way we have our setup right now with Lady down at the other end of the barn, it's, there's a gate there where I push the manure. And so it stops me from pushing the manure out easily every day. And since the horses are outside, most of them are outside at night, and they're working during the day mostly, so there's not a lot of manure here. Anyways, so I've been, sometimes my butt's just cleaning my barns every other day. And uh, that works fine if you don't, if you keep scraping them down and so they're not laid in the manure, of course. Baron sure does like to lay down. I came out yesterday and he was laying down again. Oh, here's Lady and Brie again. Hi, guys. She'll probably take off knowing Lady right now. She has to circle away a few times before she comes back and stays. She's very protective. Hi, Brie Brie. everybody. Get it. How's she doing tonight? She's doing great. She wants to see you. I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does. Ah, yes, 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 yes. The little girl can run. We'll, t we'll show you in a minute uh, her running out in pasture when she, her and Lady got separated a little bit. 
I'll tell you one thing. She minds a fence. She's scared of touching that fence. That's good. Already. That's good. Yep. Okay, why don't you go back to this morning or whatever you had this morning. Come on. Come on. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for coming with us today and have a great afternoon. See ya.